Hey there, welcome to Voice. My name is Gim, and I'll be guiding you through our DIY tutorial how to add voicemail. Okay, so uh, voicemails are delivered directly as an audio file to your email inbox, um, which is quite a handy feature if you want to, say, forward the message to a colleague or save it somewhere. It's also quite handy um, if you're on the road and you want to check your messages without being at the office. So to set this up, we're going to head over to the admin section. Uh, that's where you can find all the features you can configure within uh, Freedom. We're going to click on voicemail, and then we're going to click on add. For voicemail box number, um, you're free to choose any three-digit number uh, that you want, really. Just make sure it's not in use um, with any other extension or other feature. I like using the 900 range. Um, I always use this for voicemail specifically. Um, this way, it's just easy to keep track of which numbers are in use and which aren't. I'll make this one uh, 901, as it's going to be the first and only voicemail we're setting up today. We can add a description just for easy reference. Um, I'll call this one general voicemail. Okay, so over here, we're going to specify where we want these voicemail attachments to go. Um, I'll just put our demo customer's email address in here for now. Um, of course, you'll be putting in your own email address here. You can also add more than one email if you want. Um, all you have to do is separate the email addresses with a comma. So I'll put the admin email in here as well. Cool. Okay, so um, you can choose whether you want a default um, welcoming message or if you want to record your own one. For now, I'm just going to keep this on uh, default. You can also choose which language you want and uh, which gender um, you want for the welcoming message. Um, for this, I'll just choose uh, English female. And we click Save. And there we have it. Um, but we're not quite done just yet. Um, if we want the voicemail to be active, we have to add it to a dial plan. Uh, the dial plan is where you set what happens when somebody calls your number. And uh, in this case, I want to set up voicemail on my main number, um, which means, of course, that I'll have to select that number. And uh, then you can see over here that um, calls currently go to John's extension for 15 seconds, and then it goes to the sales group for 20 seconds, which means essentially uh, calls are dropped after 35 seconds. So we're going to add um, our voicemail as the final step in our chain. And let's do that, um, voicemail. And uh, we select uh, the mailbox we set up earlier. And click Save. And of course, save the dial plan. And there you go. You've just successfully added voicemail to your main telephone number. Thank you very much for watching. Um, I hope that was helpful. And uh, please get in contact if you have any queries. Um, we're always happy to help.